Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Get to love it. Kicking into March. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use all your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 493, NASDAQ off 105, SP is off 55, gold contract up $21.10 trading at 1908 an ounce. We have silver up 48 cents, $24.48 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up four bucks. $95.67 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year up one full point plus 10 ticks at 127.18. 30-year up a full two points plus 20 ticks at 154.28 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 128 ticks, trading 96.742. Euro's at 112. Yen's at 114.94. And the British pound's at 134 to 1 US dollar. Uh, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you got the S&P, the SPIs, down $5.20. You got 103 million shares. Um, what's going to happen here, I suspect we're going to do about the same amount of shares on Friday, which is about 120. It's trying to get to higher price. It looks to me like we're just digging out a little short-term bottom here. You know, this is how it normally reacts when you're, trying to get a, a bottom in place. And I suspect, you know, the next couple of days you got window dressing happening and you'll get a little buy and and this uh, spy can get up to something like a 448, somewhere around that level, and you're at 432 right now. And the X100, we take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Same type of setup inside the three Qs. Had, didn't, couldn't, couldn't hold price today at the 348, you're at 343. Volume-wise, um, we're going to do, uh, we'll do the 78 million. We did 78 million on Friday. We'll do 78 million. But you can see what's happening here, okay? You're going higher. You don't have the buyers. That being said, bottom line, I suspect uh, next couple days, you are going to get into higher price before we go test these lows. Gold. Gold contract is building costs for higher price. You know, we had the big spike up. So gold had the... ABC structure on the way up. It was 101A to B. Uh, that price projection would have been the uh, 18, 1846, I believe. Yeah, 1846. We went all the way up to uh, 1946, rather. We went up to 1976. And what that's all about, that was a 1 to 1.382 move in the higher. Uh, gold loves to do either a 1 to 1.382 or 1 to 1.50 higher and all lower. Now what we're doing is we're building cars. And if I put this gold contract on a generic chart so you can see it all the way back, you're going to see <laughs> that how close we actually are to the all-time high. And what's going to get really intriguing here is that the, so your all-time high up here is uh, 2063. And you can see what we have done here. This is like, we went, we did a straight line move that started in August of 2018, started at 11, started at 1161, went straight up to 2063. That being said, now watch this. This is pretty wild, man. Then we basically, we did a 0.382 retracement and we went sideways from August of 2020 until just this week. So this very well could be a monster ABC structure on the way up. And if that's what it is, you know, you're talking about that high there of a thousand six, uh, 2063, the low there of 1161. So we got what? That's uh, it's nine. Yeah, it's 900 A to B, which would get you 2572. And my take is that's what I, my take is this is going to be a monster ABC up. We're going after the 2063. If we get the volume. Guess what? You're going to be at 2,500. That's how that baby shakes out. Silver. We take a look at the silver market out here. What do you have with silver? Silver right now is up 48 cents. Oops, that's S I H. No. No, this I. Whoa. 
Why isn't this coming up? Okay. Well, I'll get this at the break. But silver right now, this is building cause to get up to this uh, 2554 area. Notes and bonds. So let's go take a look at this note and bond market. So you have some movement out here today. And uh, the volume's not bad. Uh, so the 10 year right now, we've done 2 million shares, 2 million contracts rather. You're taking the high out. So I suspect that the 10 year can get to somewhere about uh, 127.29. Right now you're at 127.15. We take a look at the 30 year, and we have with the 30 year out here, we are at 154.18. This has three. That's going to be the wrong contract. Okay, so let me deal with this one second. Put that volume up there. And this baby can get to, yeah, it's going to try to get into this uh, 156.17. Uh, you have the 10-year right now. The 10-year is yielding 1.83. Now, that being said, folks, that is a counter-trend bounce. Notes and bonds, my take, still want lower price, higher yield. Because what you have happening here is that the, the market kind of showed it in spades when we kept going lower and what you had is the note and bond market couldn't catch a bid at all, okay? That says a huge amount. That says that, okay, guess what? They want lower price. That's, that's the real bottom line. Now, some of the higher volume equities out here today, and this will be a low volume market. You have uh, TD, a bank is buying First Horizon. That's up $5.20. You got uh, Block, which is Square. That's up five fifty, trading one twenty five forty four. Uh, American Airlines is off 45 cents. You get Bank of America down a buck 31. Nvidia is down 240. Lucid is down uh, 163. You get Tesla up 48 dollars. And uh, be interesting. So you get the SEC checking out uh, good old Elon and his brother, particularly his brother, because his brother sold 89,000 shares. I remember what I, I was talking about it uh, the day before. Elon come out and says, uh, you know, guess what? I'm gonna. Should I sell some shares? Bottom line, um, when, you, when you take a look at uh, where they sold from, from where we are, uh, guess what? They were selling at the 1,200 levels and you're at the 800 levels. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.